Hey everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and in this video, we're going to learn how to calculate mean arterial pressure, or MAP for short. So the mean arterial pressure is the average blood pressure in our arteries during a single cardiac cycle, and it is used as an indicator of perfusion to our vital organs, which basically means that the mean arterial pressure helps to determine whether there is adequate blood flow and pressure to supply enough blood to all of our major organs. 70 to 100 millimeters of mercury, or MMHG, is considered an average or normal mean arterial pressure. To calculate mean arterial pressure, we use this formula here, which reads that MAP is equal to the systolic blood pressure plus two times the diastolic blood pressure, then we divide that answer by three. So really all we need to know is our systolic blood pressure, which is the top number when we take a blood pressure, and our diastolic blood pressure, which is the bottom number. Let's do an example. How do we calculate the MAP for a blood pressure of 108 over 74? And then let's determine if that is within the normal range. First, let's write out our formula. Systolic blood pressure plus two times the diastolic blood pressure all divided by three. Now let's fill in our values. We can fill in our systolic blood pressure, which is 108, and our diastolic blood pressure, 74. Next, always remember to do what is inside the brackets first. So 2 times 74 gives us 148. This leaves us with 108 plus 148 all over 3. Now if we add the top numbers, we get 256. And finally, we divide 256 by 3 to get 85.3 repeating. We generally round the mean arterial pressure to the nearest whole number. So 85.3 rounds down to 85, and that's the mean arterial pressure, 85 mmHg. And 85 is within what is considered the normal range for MAP, which again is 70 to 100. So there you have it. If you have any questions or would like me to cover a specific drug or topic, please let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching.